guys welcome to the PC Tips Pro and in today's video we are going to see how to share and collaborate on sites and also how to publish your site using Google Sites. So before getting into the video if you guys haven't yet subscribed to the PC Tips Pro please do subscribe and now let's get into the video. So here we are on our Google Sites and firstly let's see how can we share and collaborate on sites. At any point while working on your site, you can share it with people in your organization to collaborate on the content. So to do this, uh, you just need to go to this share with others option which will be available on your right top corner. Click on this and here you can see you can add your uh, people and groups to, to work on with your sites or to uh, share your site to other people and groups and also uh, you can even do this using drive you can go to drive you can select the file that that contains the site you can share them through the drive also and next let's see how to choose the people to share your site with so to set permission across your organization under who has access click change and select the sharing options so while you go to your drive while you are working with your drive you can see the sharing options let me quickly show you that so this is my site on the drive let's click on share and here you'll be getting the options like uh, who who do get the access to view this so click on this change and here you can restrict the people like you can uh, uh, share it through uh, public so that everyone uh, who is having this link will be able to access your site or else click on the restrictor so only people added can open this link and also and now we can go go back here and you can add your people and groups and you can send them across this link to so that they'll be having the access through your uh, for your site and here once you add your people you can get this uh, two options called as your editor or your published viewer you can change this access to the person who is opening your link so you can make him as editor or published viewer so if it is if he is a editor he'll be able to edit your site and if he is a viewer he'll be able to view our site and he cannot make any changes to your site so i want this to be my viewer and then after this we can click on share so that they'll be uh, getting their uh, link to their mails and after you share to your people you can even remove the access to the people you can you do the same thing you can go here you can click here you can see who all the people who are having access to your site you can remove them and you can even change the access for them so in this way you can share and collaborate on sites and nextly let's see how to preview and publish your site so you can preview a new site before you publish when you are ready you can publish it only to your organization or to the world so here you can find a preview icon which looks like this to see how your uh, site looks on di different uh, devices you can choose this click here and you can see how it is uh, visible on desktop so here you can see the desktop is chosen so you can see how it is um, visible and then you can go to this tablet how it is visible in tablet and then uh, you can choose the mobile how it is visible in the mobile phones so it will be adjusted accordingly to the devices so this is how you can preview your site and then like next let's see you have to publish your site for the first time let's go back so when you publish your site for the first time add a site name to complete the site URL so we have already added the site name you can uh, only use letters numbers and dashes in the site name the beginning of URL includes your organization domain and can't be changed you can continue to edit your site after you publish it however uh, you need to republish the site to see any new changes so after publishing your site you can even again make changes uh, but you have to again publish it to make the changes live on internet so you can choose your web address once you click on the publish I choose it to be my education courses 
so you can make it like more uh, relevant and more uh, interactive and creative with your visitors but i choose to keep this for uh, the showing purposes so then click on the publish and you can even manage who can view your site uh, by just uh, clicking on publish you can see here in the publish you can get the uh, manage option first uh, when the first time you are publishing so that you can manage your visitors also and then once you are done you can just click on done so after you done publishing this you can uh, copy this url and you can without this edit you can copy this url and you can share it with others and now if you want to change your site's url at any point of time you can do this by going to the publish and clicking on this down down arrow you can see this publish settings click on the publish settings and here you can enter your new url and also here you can manage your people like who can have uh, you can visit your site with the custom domain and you can even after adding your groups of people you can even check or uncheck this like editors must review changes before publishing if you are working with the organization this uh, option makes some sense to you so if you want to change it you can change or else you can keep it like this so let me click on cancel and now let's see have to unpublish your site so if you are no longer want to want your site to be available online you can unpublish it you can still access and update your site content you can also republish the site using the same url or the different url at any time if people try to visit your unpublished site uh, they they'll see an error message so have to unpublish your site let's see uh, next to the publish you can see this down arrow click on this down arrow and you can see unpublish click on unpublish and click on got it your site is now unpublished and you may even have many published sites on your google sites so you can, you can even manage them uh, simultaneously and in this video let's have a quick summary what we have done so firstly we have learned how to preview your site we have previewed it by going to this icon we clicked on this and we have previewed it uh, through how it looks from the mobile from the desktop and from the tablet how it adjusts and then we have seen uh, how to publish our site for the first time we have clicked on the publish we have uh, made our own url we have uh, we do have this uh, manage option to manage how, uh, who to visit our site with our custom custom domain and then uh, after publishing this uh, we have also seen how can we change our site's url just going here clicking on the and uh, clicking on the publish settings we have uh, changed this publish uh, settings by and also we have changed the site url and then uh, we even got to know how can we unpublish the site clicking on this down arrow we clicked on the unpublish to unpublish our site and also we have learned how can we uh, share share your site and collaborate with uh, collaborate with others on your site we have seen how can we add your groups of people uh, through this google sites and also through the drive and we have learned much more things on this uh, video in this video so i hope you found this video useful to you